Hi, this is Hector Garcia, and I want to show you a quick feature, which is receiving purchase orders in QuickBooks Online. First of all, before you can receive a purchase order, two things. You must be on QuickBooks Online Plus Edition, which is the one that can manage purchase orders, and you also have to turn on the purchase order feature. So let me show you how to do that first. We're going to click on the Settings button on the top right of the screen and then click on account and settings and then we're going to go into advanced and uh, sorry not advanced we're going to go to expenses and then click on purchase orders and make sure there's a little checkbox there that says purchase orders on so you have to make sure that's in there and that's checked on for this to work and it is so that's perfect so to create a purchase order uh, fairly simple we click on the quick create button on the top right of the screen and we click on the vendor side and we go to purchase order. Then we select the vendor on the top right of the screen, the top left of the screen, sorry. And I'm going to pick this one called gin, gas and oil. And then I'm going to select in the items tab, I'm going to select the items that I want to purchase from this vendor. So I'm going to select a couple of items here and then I'm going to put a hundred on the quantity for the first one. And let's say 80 for the second one. So that's the original purchase order. This is how much I want to buy uh, from this vendor. Uh, normally at this point, I would probably email this PO uh, to them directly or print it, fax it to them, or maybe just send them an email or call them and say, hey, I want to buy this from you. But the nice thing about the purchase order is that it lets you know that there's an order pending. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And then I'm going to go into the report section because that's really important to know exactly where you monitor these things. So I'm going to go to the report section and I'm going to search for uh, purchase order. So I just typed PU and then I have a purchase order list and purchase order detail. They're both useful. I'm going to click on purchase order list first so we can see all of uh, my uh, actual uh, open purchase orders. And that's basically all it is. It's just a list of open purchase orders. And then the other report, I'm going to type purchase order detail, will show me a line by line detail of the items inside the purchase order. And then it will also let me know whether or not the items are on back order or they have been partially received. So yes, QuickBooks Online has partial receiving of purchase orders. This is brand new for July of 2017 so i'm really really excited they added this feature because we've been waiting for this forever anyway uh let me go ahead and uh receive part of that purchase order that we just created just so you can kind of see the effect of what happens in quickbooks online so i'm going to click on the create button and then i'm going to click on bill that's normally the transaction we use to uh, receive inventory from a purchase order i click on bill i'm going to select my vendor here so i'll select chin gas and oil and you're immediately going to see on the right side of the screen that little drawer that kind of slides in that's letting you know that there's open invoices uh, sorry open purchase orders available so i can click on open if i want to inspect it or i can click on add and that's going to bring the entire contents of that purchase order into the bill and close up the drawer now let's assume that i'm receiving part of this po because the vendor, let's say, shipped, uh, shipped them in different phases. So, for example, let's say my vendor went ahead and shipped uh, 97 of the first one, and then it shipped uh, 40 of the second one. And usually, by this point, I'll put notes in there in terms of why they got shorted. So, in here, I'll put a note saying, uh, other three are out of stock. That just lets me know that I'm probably not going to get the other three. And then in here, I'll put uh, other 40 will come in next week. Whatever, whatever is relevant, you actually don't have to put that type of notes. But I, I encourage it if you're going to do partial uh, PO uh, receiving because it just it kind of lets you know what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save or save and close. Either one works. And then I want to uh, go back to the purchase order. Uh, that we had earlier so let me click on my last transaction here so you can see what the purchase order looks like now you can see now that the purchase order is still showing open okay so unlike uh before they did this update in july of 2017 it would close up the purchase order right away even if you receive partial 
you still have a choice of coming in here and clicking close and just forcing closing the PO altogether. So you, you still have that choice. Or you can come in here into each individual line item and I can close up, let's say just one. So for example, I chose to just close up the line of the of the hundred uh, because I put in my notes that they're only gonna get uh, 97, right? So I'm gonna close that one up, but I'm not gonna close up the, the one with 80 uh, just because I am expecting to receive that other 40 uh, in the future at some point, right? So that's kind of the, 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 the point is that I, 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 I don't wanna uh, close up that one because I wanna leave it available for the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, save and close. And then I'm gonna look at the open purchase order report. So we kind of see what's going on. So I'm gonna click on the open purchase order list and my purchase order should show up in there and, and, and there it is. However, um, as you can tell, it tells you that it only has a hundred dollar open balance. So it tells you the only stuff that's open uh, from it. And if I look at the other report, uh, let me back, go back to reports and type here uh, purchase order. I'll do the open, uh, the detail report. We can actually see within, it breaks it down by item, which is nice. And you can see within that specific uh, PO, uh, which is the one we're, we're looking at there. Um, the 1006 is the one, yep. The one that's over there. Uh, notice that this one actually says that uh, the quantity, original quantity is 80, received is 40 back order quantity is another 40. So then when I go uh, and receive, let's say another bill with the difference of that PO, so I'm gonna select here, chins, gas and oil. I'm gonna have that little uh, pop up on the right side of the screen, letting me know that there are pending orders and then I'm gonna click on add um, and then that's going to bring in uh, the, the, the latest ones. The only kind of issue you will see is that in this particular case, I opened an exist the existing PO, so I was adding stuff to it in two different lines, but if I wasn't um, doing the existing PO, I could just delete the lines that I'm not uh, receiving, whatever it happens to be. Let me go ahead and uh, close this and try this again, just to avoid any confusion. So I'm gonna click on uh, Chins, Gas, and Oil, and this is going to, in this case, it, it, it loaded my previews, uh, bill, right? So I, I don't want to do that. I want to uh, do a brand new bill. So I already have my previous bill right here for 1070. But what it does is it preloads the information in there probably because of the settings. So I want to make sure that I don't have this information duplicated in there. So I'm going to delete the two lines that were duplicated in there, then click on add. That way, this is a completely separate bill with a completely separate receive. And then you will notice that there's a little link icon there letting you know that that's actually tied to something else and it will let you know uh, what is it tied to and it gives you a link to the original purchase order if you need to see it. So that would be the proper way of receiving the second portion of the PO. Make sure you're not duplicating any items and you just receive that second piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and close and then I'm gonna go back to the original PO um, just so we can inspect what it looks like now. And you will see on the top of the screen that the PO says that it is closed and there's a link for uh, two link transactions. So when I actually uh, click on that, you can actually see the two bills that is associated with, with the dollar amounts and I can click on each one and inspect it if I need to. And then here on the bottom, uh, in the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see that there's a little closed checkbox there letting you know that uh, each of the line items is closed and is no longer showing open. Anyway, uh, super excited to see this new feature of being able to receive partial POs and hope this video was uh, helpful. If it was, uh, click uh, like, subscribe to the channel, add comments below if you have any questions or maybe some uh, add some comments about some videos you wanna see in the future. Thank you very much.